Senator Johnny Isaacson is a Republican from the state of Georgia. Panel's getting right underway now, sir, and I know that you're you're in that hearing, so we can't keep you very long. We'll get we'll get right to it. Uh, what do you want to hear? What's the main thing you'd like to get out of this hearing? Well, if you read the report and you listen, well, we had secure testimony yesterday from Admiral Mullen and, and Ambassador Pickering. There was a failure of duty of responsibility in the chain of command of the State Department. It's quite obvious the State Department recognized early on this was not a spontaneous attack. It was a militia attack, and it's obviously four Americans lost their lives. And to a certain extent, we don't know what extent yet, the State Department failed in its standard of duty to protect those mission officers. The report, which is absolutely scathing, lists a lot of people. I mean, it really points a lot of fingers. And, and there's a part that talks about budget cuts. I'll read it to you. For many years, the State Department, they write in this report, has been engaged in a struggle to obtain the resources necessary to carry out its work with varying degrees of success. But it's also had the effect of conditioning a few State Department managers to favor restricting the use of resources as a general orientation. Who do you think gets the blame in this? Or is it, is it everybody? Because they, they do blame Congress, frankly. Well, they do blame Congress, but quite frankly, before this report was finished, they had already implemented additional security in at least 19 missions around the world that are high danger zones. I think this was a failure of a standard of duty on the part of the State Department, not a failure of Congress. Secretary Clinton had said that uh, the cuts were too big back in 2011. And as you know, a, a consulate like the one we saw, that attack, it's sort of at the bottom of the list in terms of things that they, they value. Uh, so, you know, the idea that the funding would go to the most dangerous places and things that are less valued would get the, the least money. And she had asked for more money. Well, all, we always have requests for more money, and there's always a demand for more money. But you have to prioritize within the money that you have. You have to do a cost-benefit analysis on where you put your money. And in terms of cost-benefit, the benefit for investing money is in saving lives, not in having parties or doing trips or something like that. So I want to see the standard of care they did in looking for the cost-benefit analysis before I accept any blame on behalf of Congress for not funding enough money for the security of our diplomats. Here's what John Kerry said about this report. The department has taken a huge step forward uh, to address the lessons learned from Benghazi, which are important to everybody. You know, there are 70,000 employees over there. Uh, there are 275 different posts. Uh, people are at risk. It's a dangerous world we're in. And I think that uh, this report is going to significantly advance the security interests of those personnel and of our country. Do you think ultimately then this report is helpful, as Senator Kerry seems to be saying, uh, although if you look at it, nobody has uh, really named in the report, has been you know, named to be fired. One officer, official rather, resigned, and then three others are on administrative leave, and many people are guessing they're just never going to come back from that administrative leave. Does that go far enough? Well, we need to continue to have the hearing we're having this morning. We need to get all the answers, and ultimately the secretary has to bring closure by testifying before Congress as to what steps have been taken to correct the er errors and the failures of duty on part of the State Department. She's expected to testify, but as I know you know, uh, the former U.S. ambassador to the U.N., John Bolton, says that her illness uh, is basically faking. I mean, he, he, he didn't mince words about that. Do you think that she's faking? I would never accuse the secretary of faking it, but I do think it's at, at the appropriate time she needs to be before the committee to say not only why what failed happened in the first place, but what's being done within the department to see that it never, ever happens again. She must testify. Senator Johnny Isaacson is in this hearing, so we're going to let you go, sir. We appreciate your time this morning. Thanks for talking with us. Merry Christmas, Soledad. Thank you. Likewise, sir. Appreciate that.